Um, I just wanted to do a quick reminder of the importance of tracking, tracking your training, the training journal. I actually, I'm just going to look at a Facebook post that I made on this and then I'm going to read a couple of replies um, from some friends. So if there's one simple change that so many people can make to improve their progress, it would be for them to log their weights and have a plan on how to make progress with them. Having a log of weights and a plan for progression, it will give you more progress than winging it in the gym. And that's just a fact. Um, so let's get into a couple of these replies here. So Brian L, he says, 100% logging sessions is one of the primary differentiators between exercising and training. And Brian, I think you're 100% right. You know, exercising is great. Just moving around, doing something, going into the gym, doing some things. And even if you're just outside, walking around, running every once in a while, stuff like that, you know, doing physical work, that's exercising. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's positive. It's helpful. But there's the next level of that, and that's training. So I had to write back, you know, Brian, right on. Essentially, it will make anyone eventually train if they keep that log and keep a focus on moving up or progressive overload, just making progression. And I think there's some realism to that because no matter where you start, no matter what you're doing in the gym, if you start off, if you train, if you log your training sessions, actually I should have said if you start off exercising, but you log your training sessions and you log your numbers, and you have that you know, little voice in the back of your head that says, okay, I gotta make some progress. I'm gonna make some progress. So you're eventually gonna move your numbers up because you have that voice in your head telling you, I'm gonna make some progress. You eventually get to the point where you're training. You're no longer exercising. You're actually making focused progress and you're doing it because you're able to track your numbers. So Brian, I think you're totally right. And like I said, journaling with a focus on progression, it's going to make anyone transition from exercising to training. I also had a really good comment from uh, Britland, and he's talking about like personal experience, and I've experienced this as well. So he says, I can't agree with this enough. I got sort of lazy in 2022 and early 2023 about logging my weights, thinking my intuition was good enough. That's actually a big mistake, and I'm glad that he's admitting that here. So he says, I started logging in August of 2023, focused really hard on adding at least five pounds to one exercise a week if I could. Since August, eight of my lifts are up 30 pounds or more, probably not because I actually added that much strength, but because I was selling myself short before I was tracking. Massive difference, he says. The training journal is definitely gonna get you to push yourself because if you complete your numbers one day, and you look back and you're focused on progression, you're going to move up. And that is the push. Like that's pushing yourself right there. Without the trading journal, you would have been like, I'm not really sure what I did last time. This feels tough enough today. And actually it could be less than what you did last time, or it could be the same. But the point is, is that it's not more, it's not training. It's not pushing yourself. So you're totally right. And you know, Britland, my reply to you was, I don't care who you are, you're going to naturally backslide or stall in areas of training without tracking. It's happened to me multiple times, and that's a fact too. You know, I've gone times without training or journaling my training, and that's exactly what happened. Like I stalled or fell back. I was not making the progress that I could be. And then I said, it's just the nature of the activity and Britland, awesome comment, by the way. And it is the nature of the activity. Training is hard. It's very difficult to push yourself forward. The nature of us, I think as humans, is we want to we wanna push, but we don't necessarily do it unless we're, we're made to do it. And I think the training journal can really make you do it. So shout out to you. If you're tracking and you're keeping a training journal, you're awesome. If you're not doing it, you know, you're just like one notebook away, one pencil away from starting to track and you're going to move from exercising up to training and training feels so much better and it gives you what you want. It gives you what you're really exercising for. So don't just exercise, train.